planet way up high. A robot named for you two would come zooming from the sky. Its friends on planet Zeta would choose a man of worth who could teach their little robot all about the Earth. There he is. He is the one? He is the one. and gentle person he drove a cab by day but every chance it came along he loved to stop and play So when people saw for you two, they would not be surprised. Not enough. Too much. So up on planet Zeta, they fought for oh so long. How about a vacuum cleaner? It's better than a bomb. Front door, a knock came loud and clear. The package should arrive. Oh, but it was here. With the end, the robot, the world's an open book. Oh, it's with the end, the robot. Come on, let's take a look. Oh, it's with the end, the robot, the world's an open book. Oh, it's with the end, the robot. Come on, let's take a look. Oh, it's with the end, the robot, the world's an open book. Oh, it's with the end, the robot. partner can you rustle up some grub for me how about some biscuits and beans i am hungry well you sure like those cowboy movies don't you for you two that is right pilgrim and what are all those cow pokes doing out there poking cows that is not very nice of them well, walk this way, partner, and I'll tell you all about it. Whitney, that's easy for you to say. <laughs> a long time ago in the Old West, a cowboy would ride the range on his pony. When he would see a calf that was far away from its mother, he'd rope it <clears throat> and then go to it, pick it up and carry it back and say, Get along, little doggy. Doggy? Oh, no, I didn't mean doggy. I meant doggy, you know, a, a baby cow. I do not understand. Well, um, well, I guess you'll just have to use your imagination. I am a robot. I do not have imagination. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. Hmm. We can use your imagination. Oh, yeah. Whoa! 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 Where, where am I? What? We are in your imagination, where we can pretend. Oh, uh... That's what I thought when you said, get along, little doggy. Uh, oh, uh, well, that's a, uh, wrong little dog. <laughs> what I meant was get along, little, little doggy. See, uh, not a, a dog like that. Now, now that, you see, that is a doggie, see? Or, or a calf. Someone is knocking at your door, Whitney. Oh, uh, well, uh, I better go answer it. 
Howdy, ma'am. Oh, excuse me. I mean, uh, hello, miss. Uh, hi, is this Whitney's Cab Company? It certainly is. I'm Whitney. I drive the cab and you pay the tab. <laughs> Come in, please. Thanks. I'm Lori Bell. Mind if I set this down? Oh, just, sure. Just right right here. Okay. <sighs> what happened to your horse, ma'am? Well, I left it at the ranch. Uh, What's that little thing? It talks. Oh, well, see, that's a robot for you two. Uh, for me too? No thanks, I'd rather have a horse. Oh, oh no, 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 uh, that, I mean, that's what its, its name is, for you too, he's my friend. Uh, for you too, say hello to Lori Bell. Howdy, stranger. Hello. <laughs> Where did you get that little thing? Oh, well, you see, there's this planet Zeta, and they had a robot up there's named A to Z, and he sent for you two down here to learn about Earth. I see, I was working at the bench over there, and I heard this Lord noise Bell. outside. It's a long, long story. Oh. I can tell. <laughs> Say, is this a real cowboy saddle? Oh, it's a real cowgirl saddle. Huh. Doesn't matter whether it's a cowboy or a cowgirl, the saddle's still the same. Oh. Hmm, everybody uses the same saddle? Well, even robots? Can I try it? Uh, gee, it really wasn't made for robots. Oh, maybe you'd like to try it. But can I? Oh. Just put your hand here on the horn, horn. Put your foot here in the stirrup and hoist yourself up. Gotcha. Hey -ya! Ha! Oh, Whitney, that... you're backwards. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh okay. I'll fix that. Oh boy. You're How's that? still backwards. Still. Oh, oh, yeah, this goes like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. I'm going to rope that steel. Oh, whoa. Uh, uh, being a cowboy is, is harder than I thought. I'm... Yeah. Gee, Whitney, I hate to spoil your fun, but could you please take me to the, hor to the ranch where I, I keep my horse? Oh, of course, sure. Let Can I go with you? I'd like to see a real horse. Well, well sure. Sure. It's, Come on. Uh... uh Come in. Well, howdy, neighbor, and how are you? I'm your neighbor. You're mine, too. Whitney. Cookie. And for you, too. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey we're going to take Lori Bell to the ranch. For you, too, and I... Where's Lori Bell? <clears throat> right here. Oh, uh, whoops. Uh, <laughs> hi, Lori Bell. This is uh, my friend, Corky. Hi, Lori Bell. Hi, Corky. Can we please leave for the ranch? Right. The ranch? Say, can I go too? Uh, well, sure. Hey, wait a minute. I'll be right back. Well, I'm ready. Partner. Oh, no, Corky, no, no. No one really dresses like that when they go riding. Look, I'll show you how the dress when to go riding. Now, this is what you wear when you go riding. Oh, wow. Mm. Now, is everybody ready? Yep. Tally ho! All systems go! Okay, buckaroos, let's vamoose. Yeah, big fella! <laughs> Chitty bye. Boy, I can't wait to see what she's gonna do with that horse, Wit. Hi, boy. Yes. First thing you do is brush the horse. Doesn't that hurt the horse? Oh no, he loves it. It gets all the dirt out of his hair. Hey, we'll have to try that when we get back, Wit. Yeah. I'll bring a brush down and brush you. I'm not a horse. Okay, now it's time to put the saddle on. The saddle's what we ride the horse with. It's what we sit on. Okay, now we're ready to ride. Okay. Follow me. Come on, Wit. Let's go. Hey, here we go. Hey. Hey, come on. Let's go. Come on. Ride. Cowboy. Hey, here we go.
Okay now, Corky, you gotta get right back on that horse or you're gonna be afraid all your life. Okay. I knew we can do it. That's the way, Corky. Ride him. Okay, big fella. Let's go home. turn, Whitney. My crop, sir. Thank you. <laughs> no! No! Oh, oh, no! Oh, oh. How did you like Lori Bell's ranch? Lori Bell has a mighty fine spread. Oh, what's the matter for you two? Oh, it's really nothing. It's just that I wish I had legs so I could ride a horse like you and Porky did. So, you want to ride a horse, do you? Okay, we'll just take this broom handle and this old cereal box, put it in here, and we'll take this old mop and put it in here, and there, now, it's a horse! That's a mighty fine horse you got there, Whit. Yeah, it's a great horse, but it's still too high. Well, we'll take care of that. Ta-da! <laughs> I gotta fix that bed one of these days. Okay, for you two, hop aboard. Wahoo! That's a pretty mean bronc you got there, partner. It sure is. That must be the meanest bronc this side of the Rio Grande. Yeah. What is a Rio Grande? Oh, well, that's, that's Spanish. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, Rio Grande is Spanish for Rio Grande. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, in English, it means a uh, big river. It's the river between Mexico and Texas. What is a Texas? Oh, that's what you pay at the end of the year. Uh, that's taxes, Corky. Uh, uh, Texas is a place that's always had lots of cowboys. Cowboys. Hey, I want to sing you a ballad about the Rio Grande. Oh, come on over for you two and hey. Whitney. Okay. The Ballad of the Rio Grande. Well, come on down where the big river flows. Take off your shoes and stick in your toes. Feel the hot sun on the sand. It's the mighty river called the Rio Grande. Now, cowboys come from far away just to cool in the water or just to play because it's known so well all over this land. It's the mighty river called the Rio Grande. So grab your hat and get your guitar. Saddle your pony, we're riding far. Gotta hit that trail as soon as we can. For the mighty river called the Rio Grande. Come on, Whit, and join me in the car. Okay, ready? So grab, grab your hat and get your guitar. Saddle your pony, we're riding far. Gotta hit that trail as soon as we can. For the mighty river called the Gosh, I wish 
I could have been a cowboy. You can for you two. Hey, I got a great idea. Let's make a Western movie. That's a great idea. I want to be the sheriff. Okay, you be the sheriff for you two. Okay, I get to beat up all the bad guys and win all the fights. Now remember for you two, fighting never made anything better. You never fix anything by fighting. Okay. Places. Action. One day, a stranger rode into town. Well, here's a stranger riding into town. A lot of places to park my horse. I think I'll park over there in a no parking zone and get a drink in the saloon. <clears throat> Steady there, big fella. <clears throat> stranger, do you have business in this town? Howdy, Sheriff. And how are you? Name's Kincaid. Bom, bom, bom. I am for you, too. I run a peaceable town here, Kincaid. You better keep on riding. There's no fighting in this town. Sheriff, I don't mean to get into no trouble. I just want to get a drink over there at the saloon. Hi, Daddy. Who's this mean man? Miss Missy, don't get too close. He's a bad man, Kincaid. Kincaid? Kincaid. Kincaid. Bom, bom, bom. Well, you better leave town, Mr. Kincaid, cause Pico Whitney's a-coming to town. Pico Whitney? I ain't a fear to no one named Pecos Whitney. Quiet, kid. Going into the saloon to get me a drink. Give me a sagebrush shake. I said a sagebrush shake and make a two scoops of sagebrush. Pecos Whitney. Ha, ha, ha. I ain't a fear to no tin horn pipsqueak with a name like that. <laughs> Pecos Whitney quietly rides in the town. I say whoa. Gonna send you to the glue factory. Smile when you mention my name, stranger. Who are you? I am Pico Whitney. Ta -da 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 -da. So you're Pico Whitney. Ta da 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 da. Well, I'm Kincaid. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Kincaid. I've heard of you. Have a drink with me, Pico. Sorry, Kincaid. I don't drink with lousy sidewinders like you. What an insult! I said an insult! I'm calling you out on a showdown. Meet me at high noon, Pecos. I can't do it then. I have a dental appointment to get my teeth recapped. How about two o'clock? No, can't do it at two. Gotta take the horse in for a thousand trail checkup. How about six? Uh, no, I can't do it at six. I promised Mom I'd have dinner with her. Oh. How about next Tuesday? Hey, girls, oh. Whitney oh. and Kincaid decided to meet at sunup. Is it sunup yet, Kincaid? Cock a doodle doo, pickles! Choose your weapons. Yo yo's at 30 paces. <laughs> I was hoping you'd choose yo yo's. I'm the yo yo champion of the West. Now, watch this, Pecos. <laughs> Let's see you beat that one, Pecos. That's pretty good, Kincaid. But now, watch this. 
Want to see it again? I sure do. Oh, all right. I'll slow it down for you. around the world. Well? I'm no match for you, Picos. What say we be friends? Good idea, Kincaid. Ah. Picos? Yes, Kincaid. You're the biggest yo-yo in the West. <laughs> Thank you, Kincaid. Did you really mean that? Oh, yes, I love so the part Kincaid with the rock and the baby. So Kincaid learned that sometimes well, winning friends really is better than winning fights. Kicking away out into the sunset. Say, partner, I reckon it's just about time for the big wrangler in the sky to be calling me. Oh, you mean A to Z? Yep. Hello for you two. How are things on Earth? Howdy, A to Z, you old buckaroo. Buckaroo? Is that you for you two? Hi, A to Z. Ah, uh, Whitney. Is everything a-okay? For you two sounds funny to me. Everything is just fine. Hmm. Okay, A to Z, get ready. I have lots to tell you. Today I learned about doggies. And we met Lori Bell. She's a real cowgirl. And we visited a ranch and learned about horses and horse riding. And we made our own Western movie. I was the sheriff. Well, buckaroos, it is getting late. I should mosey over to the bunkhouse and get some shut eye. Adios, A to Z. What? Adios. That's Spanish for adios. Uh, that means goodbye for now, A to Z. Oh, okay. Adios.